guys, it's Brit tonight. We're here to talk about David Eason's criminal history. I think that it has a lot to do with kind of the things that we're seeing unfold today, but I wanted to bring this to you guys, but we're going to talk all about it. So if you're interested, please keep watching. All right, you guys, so I'm sure that you're very familiar with who Janelle Evans is and her husband, David Eason. They are being widely discussed right now because of what he did to her son, Jace. And it's just a really tough situation. I, I feel for Jace. I feel for her other kids. But this is kind of developing and I've made the choice to cover it sporadically. This is not necessarily a current day update, but like I said, I think that his history ties in with what we're seeing present day. I do think that there are some associations, but if you guys were not aware, David and Janelle started dating in 2015. Obviously, she was already very well known from the teen mom world. She found success on reality TV and she had her fair share of fans and also people who despised her the entire time. And for anyone who happens to be wondering which side I fell on, I never cared for Janelle. I didn't uh, feel pity or sorrow for her. I felt like, you know, she constantly mistreated her mother and just, you know, I'm not one of those people who thinks that like, no matter what, you need to respect your parents, even if they are awful individuals. I'm not one of those people. But with Janelle and Barbara, I saw a mother who was not perfect, but she was certainly trying. And I just felt like Janelle constantly was just balls to the wall, like 24-7. She wasn't caring about being a mother herself. She was young, wild, and free and wanted to do whatever Janelle wanted to do. Um, so I definitely am not somebody who thinks that Barbara is perfect, but as far as being a fan of Janelle, I was certainly not ever a fan of hers. So like I said, they started dating in 2015 and Janelle ended up becoming pregnant the year after with David and um, that is their daughter who is still in the home on the land, as they call it, uh, with David and Janelle right now, current day, as Jace is um, going through what will absolutely be one of the worst chapters of his life. Um, this child is still with David and Janelle in North Carolina in their home on the land. So the year after they had their daughter, they ended up getting married in 2017. And the very following year is actually the year that David was fired from MTV for being an actual piece of garbage. And I don't think that anyone was surprised. If you were a watcher of the show, I think that all of us could see the, um, toxicity that David brought to the, you know, basically to center stage by being involved with Janelle. And uh, so yeah, 2018 was when he was fired from MTV for specifically being homophobic and extremely disgusting towards the LGBTQIA plus community. So David's criminal history started in June of 2012 when he was arrested for a misdemeanor breaking and entering. And before we list off the rest of his charges, I would like to make something very clear. As I've said in other specific videos, I am not somebody who looks at just, oh, you have a criminal history. You are just, you know, you need to be put in the corner over there and you know, there's no reform or starting a new chapter or whatever. I am very, very much on the opposite side of that. I think that people can, you know, show that they have grown and changed and they deserve second chances. And I don't believe in just simply shunning somebody or judging them simply because they have a criminal history. Um, obviously, depending on the nature of the crime, and that is usually, I think it's going to be pretty obvious for people that usually watch my channel. Um, but as far as these misdemeanor charges, or, you know, even if it's like a felony 
rug charge, um, if you guys understand what I mean. I think that people can be absolutely reformed and I think that they can grow and change and I think that's what all of us should want for society is to you make a mistake and you show growth and change and move on with your life and become a better version of yourself. So he, along with that misdemeanor, I kind of cut my sentence off. It was the misdemeanor breaking and entering, larceny after breaking and entering, and willful willful and want an injury to real property. And then just about a week later in July of 2012, he had been charged with obtaining property by false pretenses. Then just a couple weeks later after that, he was arrested for, um, he was in possession of paraphernalia. So November 2012, he's driving while intoxicated or impaired and reckless driving to endanger. Driving while impaired, reckless driving to endanger, and then February 24th, 2013, reckless driving to endanger, and a third time, February 21st, 2014, driving while impaired. Now we have to fast forward about two years. He just co keeps collecting these as if they are, you know, trophies or something along those lines. In April of 2014, he was accused of assaulting a female, which is believed to be his ex-girlfriend before the, the girl that he was with before Janelle came into the picture. He was accused of choking her and threatening to unalive her. I don't know what exactly happened with that, and he was found not guilty. To my knowledge, she has not come out and given exact details of what happened during that arrest, but I think that charge specifically is the one that when I heard that charge, I was like, okay, I'm going to need to make a video about this because when you see these kind of like parallels, it's extremely eye-opening. Um, and it gives you a really good idea of what kind of person David is. In May of 2014, he was arrested for bond surrender. June 25th of 2014, he was arrested for a failure to appear. Also, on top of it, so he was arrested November 2021, and it says, according to the report, Eason was pulled over in North Carolina. He was charged with driving on a revoked license and possession of an open container. He was released from custody on bond, and it also mentions in June 2020, he was arrested in North Carolina again on charges of assault with a deadly weapon and communicating threats following an argument with Evans and two of her friends. So when you look at this guy as a whole, I mean, I think that... Even if we are going to be forgiving people and wanting growth and change and all of those good things, I think that you can also look at someone like David and realize that he is a, a danger to be around anybody. And I think that it's extremely alarming. Um, you know, he wasn't charged for killing their family dog and he kind of gloated about that on social media. And of course, Janelle wanted to gaslight everybody and say how people were mad and they didn't understand the whole situation and, you know, the kind of typical thing that she does. But I, I think that David is just an extremely scary individual and I think that his past speaks for itself. I don't think that he's somebody who is or has learned from his mistakes of the past. I don't think that he's one of those people that shows that they really want to grow and do better. I think he just repeats his bad actions <clears throat> over and over until he gets caught the next time. And I think it's very scary that Janelle has continued to stand by him. The writing is on the wall. And when it comes to Janelle being snarky and wanting to stand behind David and wanting to act as if her mother is just the biggest enemy nationwide that's, you know, running a hate campaign against her. Anyone that's listening to Janelle's narrative at this point in time is simply parasocially connected to her, and they are unwilling to see anything outside those parasocial blinders that some people who 
exist in the internet um, where and I see them all the time but at a certain point you gotta like look past it and realize that Janelle Evans is actively supporting and co-signing a very dangerous person do you guys hear Axel snoring he's like right up there but I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up for now let me know if you guys think that his prior charges tie in with current day things that we are seeing and hearing about I'd like to know from you guys but either way for now if you like the video please leave a like and a comment and if you'd like to see more from me in the future please subscribe I'll see you guys soon bye